working hours. So how many hours do you need to work? Well, the number of hours you need to work will be set out in your employment contract. However, the European Working Time Regulations say that no one should work more than 48 hours in a week maximum. Some sectors have specific rules, such as domestic household staff, also managing executives and some fishermen. If you are 18, you can opt out voluntarily and in writing, however, there are some restrictions. Under 18, such as 16 to 17 year olds, can only work 8 hours a day maximum or 40 hours per week maximum. Cannot be averaged. So the 17 week rule doesn't apply there. And you cannot, 16 to 17 year olds cannot opt out of the 48 hour week. Let's take a look at who works the longest. So around the world, we can see this varies. So from this chart, we can see that UK workers work on average around 260 minutes each day paid. That is equivalent to four and a half hours. But remember, this is every day of the year, not just working days. It's averaged out. The unpaid portion is for things like household or study. The average working day is eight hours five days per week or around 40 hours per week. So what is included in your working day? Well, job related training, for instance, is included. Time spent traveling for workers who have to travel as part of their job, such as traveling sales reps or 24 hour plumbers. Working lunches, such as business lunches, any time spent actually working abroad and in some cases paid and unpaid overtime. Time spent on call in the workplace. So if you're waiting for a call out to, for a repair, but you're in the workplace, that is counted as work. And any other time that is treated as working time under a contract. But what's not included in working time? Well, most breaks are unpaid such as lunch breaks. You must have at least a 20 minute break in every six hour work period by law. Unfortunately, traveling to and from your regular place of work has to be done in your own time. However, if your normal place of work is home, all traveling for business reasons can count as work. Any break when no work is done, such as lunch break, normal travel to and from work, time on call away from the workplace is not treated as work, evening and day release classes not related to work, traveling outside of normal working hours is not considered work. Similarly, uh, any unpaid overtime a worker has volunteered for, such as staying late to finish something off, and any paid or unpaid holiday, again, is not counted as work. 